everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, a holiday haul edition of Awake in Geekdom. Yes, I'm starting early. This is part one because a lot of the things that I wanted to show you simply did not arrive and actually were bought like a few hours ago. So yeah, there will be a part two about geeky items that I acquired uh, in November and December, of course, of 2019. I like doing haul videos, it's a lot of fun, and if you guys want me to review any of the products or just talk about that stuff in a future video, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to do so. Welcome, everybody, to another installment. But first of all, I wanna give a massive shout out. I am beyond humbled, I still can't really believe it, uh, to the guys over at TK Studios for providing me some uh, review copies of of their Wave 2 books that I will be talking about over at the Omnibus Collectors Network with the Omni Bros uh, show and all that stuff. But um, yeah, I do have them here, so I can't show them to you in this haul video. Here we have the trade uh, paperback editions of Wave 2. These are massive. I had no idea these books were so tall. They're as tall as an oversized hardcover, a deluxe uh, book. It's not your standard trade size, but still, you got Jeff Lemire's Sentient. You got Natalie Chides, Andy Belanger, Daniel Miwa, pound for pound. And while I'm at it, I forgot to mention Gabriel Walta for Sentient. You know, got to keep things fair, right? Here we have uh, Sal Simone. Simone, I butchered that. Eve of Extinction. And Roxanne Gay, The Banks. Look forward to uh, reviews on this channel as well for these books. So thank you so much at uh, TKO Studios for providing these books. I sincerely cannot believe that I get uh, these copies sent my way. It, it, it's awesome. I will not, I do not take it for granted, and I am beyond thrilled at the opportunity to dive into some really cool independent work that I know a lot of people are going to be excited about and want to pick up and read with uh, the fabulous TKO Studios. So look forward to that on the channel as well as the Omnibus Collectors Network. Uh, so Moving on, I do want to talk about manga, and I have, <laughs> there's a lot of them right here. Oh boy, okay, let's uh, let's begin with some Shonen Jump stuff. Uh, here we have Dr. Stone, Volume 8, followed by My Hero Academia, Volume 21, Demon Slayer, Volume 9, Beastars, Volume 1, Beastars, Volume 2, here we have Ran of the Grey World Volume 5. I did get Beastars Volume 3, just in case you're wondering. It just <clears throat> did not arrive in time. That time I got reincarnated as a Slime Volume 11. We are really close to, you know, catching up with the Japanese releases. That's pretty awesome. And uh, the finale, Prison School Volume 14, my uh, not safe for work portion of this haul video. Uh, so yeah, this completes the series. There is a spin-off manga, but uh, for the main series, yeah. Grand finale right here. This bad boy, Berserk Deluxe Edition Volume 3. Moving on to Blu-rays, I did not get regular movies, but I do have a bunch of anime Blu-rays that I want to highlight. There, there's supposed to be a lot more, but you will see them in part two of the video. Uh, here we have Space Runaway Ideon, which was going on sale over at Right Stuff, and I got this thing for $10. I still can't believe it. I, this was, I think, retail, 60 something bucks. To get it for 10 bucks, I, I'll i take it. This is uh, one of Tomino's uh, famous works, other than Gundam, and I really want to check it out. I remember watching this many years ago, and I'm really happy to have owned the entire series, all 50 episodes of the first series, on three Blu-rays. Uh, there's standard definition on Blu-ray. It is Sayuki, the complete collection. I. If I remember correctly, after this, it's Reload and then Gunlock, right? Something like that, but regardless, really cool. Made a video on this on the channel. It is uh, Fade Zero, finally. I own Fade Zero, one of my favorite anime. Fade Zero Complete Blu-ray box. I did a uh, overview unboxing of that thing if you want to check it out. Also, I want to give a, a shout out to a friend of mine uh, for... 
uh, hooking me up with a Kamega Kill. This is the Blu-ray set. If I remember correctly, uh, there was a gift, a blind bag gift over at Right Stuff. So Homeboy hooked me up, and yeah, I got uh, a Kamega Kill. It doesn't come with the chipboard box, but I really do not mind. It, it has the Blu-ray box, the DVD, the it's called the Red Book, but it's more like a guide with uh, sketches, artwork, and encyclopedia knowledge, all that stuff about the anime. And I can only show this part. <laughs> uh, this has a poster inside and stickers, tattoos, and other weird stuff. The good thing is, I am getting the second uh, box set thanks to another good friend of mine, and I will reveal their names eventually when I show you the full set of A Comic Got Kill. How about that? So let's keep the mystery going. But yeah, I'm very thankful for two buddies for hooking me up with a series that I, I had no idea I wanted to collect. I, I've Actually, I've seen the first half of the show. I never finished it, so now I'm really excited to rewatch and finish the series and then uh, continue on and read the manga because I do know they differ somewhat and a lot of people prefer the manga so I'm excited to uh, go into that franchise. So there you go guys, as I told you I did a part one with this video, part two will be more uh, extensive, there are video games, uh, more uh, Blu-rays and comics and a whole bunch of other cool stuff so I cannot wait to show you guys that but I went ahead and did part one first uh, you know just to cover my bases with uh, the month of November and all that stuff to keep the tradition going as they say so uh, if you want me to review any of the products or talk about them in the uh, in this channel in a future video let me know in the comment section down below guys as always thank you once again for one liking these videos commenting subscribing if you can if it's not too much trouble i know a lot of people like to say this but hey whatever works and whatever helps me get views that would be awesome if you can hit the little bell icon so whenever uh, i post a video which is usually weekly you uh can watch it and enjoy whatever stuff I'm reviewing or talking about. I will be eternally grateful. Thank you so much. You can also find me on your favorite social media platform. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Just type a week in geekdom and I am there for you. All right, I have got to go. I will catch all of you on our next episode.